friends and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a little bit of a different video. I am going to be doing a Dollar Tree haul. I have never done one before and honestly I don't know why not because I found so many amazing things. So um, and I also wanted to kind of mention the reason why I haven't really been doing any videos is because I have a tendency of overthinking videos and it drives me nuts because I'm such a perfectionist. So um, I have just decided that, you know, instead of just making my um, YouTube channel so makeup and, you know, beauty related in general, you know, why not incorporate my whole lifestyle into it and really, you know, talk about and, you know, incorporate things into this channel that I actually love and appreciate. So, such as, you know, like budgeting, um, saving money, couponing, uh, what else do I like to do, organizing, um, anything like that, just like things that would make your life easier and your life better, I'm all for that. So that's what you're going to be seeing a lot more of on this channel, so I hope that you're excited about it just as much as I'm excited, so let's just get started and get this Dollar Tree haul started! I'm excited because I got a ton of stuff and I haven't even, you know, emptied out the bags, so they're all in front of me here, and you know what, I'm just going to dive in, they're not going to be in any form of order or anything like that, so let's just get started. Alright, so the first thing that I got here in this bag would be, um, it looks like all of this stuff will be for Layla, so um, what I ended up getting for her is just a ton of things that we can do crafts and just a little project with. Um, she's in that age right now. She's um, just a little over two and a half and um, she just loves like to play around with tiny little things and um, just really you can tell that um, all of her um, character is, is coming out and she is fully into expressing herself and really and I love watching it so I got her a ton of things that we could just sit down together and do some little fun projects with and the dollar store honestly you guys is the best place to go if you have a toddler and you know things are just gonna get messy and destroyed and um, you know they're not going to be perfect by any means so if you have a toddler and you don't want to you know just go out there and spend a ton of money on go to the dollar store and just grab a ton of things and you can have such a fun time with your toddlers so um, the first thing I got for Layla is stickers she loves love stickers so um, I ended up getting her these this is a pack of um, 400 stickers for a dollar honestly that's that's nuts and they're just really adorable cute stickers with animals and um, you know all kinds of you know, cats and dogs and horses and unicorns and just lots of cool things. So I know that she is going to love these. Uh, so 400 for a buck, that's just crazy to me. Next thing I got are these foam letter stickers, 124 of them. And there's just several sheets of um, stickers in here, which is really cute. Um, so I figure we can do some fun stuff. And she already knows all her letters and numbers. And um, it's just going to be a lot of fun to um, play around with this. So I was excited. <laughs> Next thing I got was these, um, what do you call these, pom-poms. Um, there's 60 of them. Um, and I got some glue in here too. So what we're going to do is just do some projects with this too. So she can have fun, you know, like putting them on, on I'll just continue in the haul here, but you'll get the idea of the things that um, she can do with it, and we can create some cute, fun projects together. Uh, next thing I got was um, a set of 10 um, glitter glue gun or, well, glitter glue markers. They're not really guns or anything like that. They're just glitter glue uh, markers, and um, just a set of two for both of those. Um, so I thought that this was really cool. She can kind of play around with it and draw lines and, you know, do fun things with it. So excited about that. Next thing are these foam stickers and they're all um, animals. So um, just your typical zoo animals. There is 80 of them in this package. Um, again, this is something fun that she can do um, to, you know, just the fact of using her fine motor skills and um, peeling these things off, putting them on the construction paper and stuff. This is going to be a lot of fun for her. Next thing is, as a kid, I love these things. I thought that they were so fun. You can do so many cool things with them. And these are 
I'm not even sure how to pronounce this. Senile stems? stems? Sen sen senile? I don't know. I'm not sure. They're just these like fuzzy sticks and you can just shape them into any shape that you like. So um, I thought this was a lot of fun too. There's 45 of them in there. They had a pack that was also um, like fun glitter colors um, too. So I might pick that up later, but for this time I just got this pack here. Um, the next thing is I got her, um, it's a pack of two scissors, of course, you know, whenever, um, you give scissors to a child, please always be present with them, so, um, this is definitely going to be something that we're going to be doing together, do never leave your child unattended with these, um, I don't even know, they're, they, it says that they're round tip, um, but still, you know, don't leave your child alone. <laughs> so I got these for her so that again um, we can do some crafts and projects together but never unattended. Okay? Next thing here is this, um, which I know I'll be utilizing this as well, is an adhesive spray bottle. So for a buck you can't go wrong um, and this you can use it for photos, fabric, paper, glass, foil, um, cork, metal, plastic, wood, um, and all kinds of other stuff. So um, I thought this was really cool and we can maybe use those pom-poms, you know, spray it on a piece of um, paper and just attach those on there and do something fun with that too. All right, then the next thing I got was these fun things here. So I got them in every color. Um, this is, I believe, all the colors that they had. Um, these are molding beads and um, I actually saw my sister, she got this for her um, son, so for, for my nephew, and um, it's really cool. Um, once you take it out, so they're just like all stuck together. It's kind of like Play-Doh, but in beads, and it doesn't, you know, um, spread anywhere. So it's really cool. Again, you can make something really fun with these two. Um, so I got her these four colors, and I think she's going to love it, just playing around with this too. And it's not like a messy project either. So um, just, you know, to have some downtime and do some projects with it. So she's going to love it. She hasn't seen any of this. So, <laughs> all right, so we have some more stuff here. Um, the next thing here are these um, straws. It's a pack of 180 straws for a dollar. That's just like mind-blowing to me. But um, I got these for Layla um, just for, she loves her yogurt smoothies. So I got her these because we go through them like crazy. And um, I use them myself too for my smoothies too. So um, yeah, can't really say much more about straws. <laughs> The next thing I got for Layla was this um, little, um, it's not a sippy cup, what do you call this thing? Can you put in the comment section below what you call this thing? It's, it's not a tumbler, it's just a big jug. So um, we have a pool where we live here, so um, I got this for her so when we go to the pool we can fill it up. Um, with some um, something to drink for her. She normally drinks water anyway, so um, I would just put something in here. This way, you know, when we're outside, nothing has a chance of going inside the bottle either, which that always freaks me out. So um, you can just open and close it really easily, um, and it's doable for her as well. So I made sure to look for that, and um, it's really nice, you guys. I think um, She's going to love it, and it's super lightweight too, so, and even if it gets damaged, I don't really care. It was just a dollar, and um, it's going to be fun for summertime. The next thing here, uh, let's see, I'll show you guys this here first. The next stuff was Play-Doh, so Layla loves, she absolutely loves Play-Doh, so she has a lot of those, um, what do you call those shape makers and all of that, those stencils. She has a lot of those already, so I don't really have to purchase any more of those, but um, Play-Doh, she runs out of it pretty fast, and honestly, you know, after you play with Play-Doh for a little bit, you can really utilize it the next day again, in my opinion, maybe you can, but um, after a while, it just gets gross, and um, yeah, let's just keep it at that. So I got her yellow, green, um, this teal color, and kind of like a pink um, for a dollar each so and they're pretty big you guys so um, I thought that that was a good deal I'm not sure um, if maybe you can find these big ju uh, jugs 
these big containers anywhere uh, cheaper than that or like in a multi-pack but in my opinion um, so far anywhere else that I looked um, they're not really this cheap so I really liked this okay so the next items I think the red that's pretty much it for lay life I'm not mistaking I'm pretty sure that there's some more stuff so the bags are just like all over the place but the next two items here I got were actually for myself so I got these um, to put in my kitchen so they're um, they're just glass containers and then they have this plastic lid on top of them I love that they were just so you know just neutral nothing you know flashy colors or anything like that and what I plan on doing with these is just putting in my um, chia seeds and my flux seeds in here so this is going to be um, something that I'll be utilizing every single day so just pour it in here not only are they going to look nice and pretty but also very organized to either put on my counter or even in the cabinets too so um, I think for dollar each this is an amazing deal you know the, the lids I can tell you guys already are not like amazing quality but you know for something that you're just gonna be opening and closing every single day I don't really care you know if the lid breaks or not but um, you know it, it does seal pretty tight so um, I think these are going to be great for storage have I told you how much I love to organize yes <laughs> I got these bins for my um, pantry so what I am going to be doing is I got the bigger ones for um, like flour and um, flour my oatmeal and what else um, I can't remember but um, the other smaller ones so you see how um, the size is um, I guess this one here holds up to 14 and a half cups where this one here holds six and a half, um, 6.75 cups. Um, so that just gives you an idea and like they kind of have a picture up here of things that some people stored in there like pastas and you know other random things in here. So um, yeah, I'm going to do flour and sugar and um, rice and my oatmeal for sure because all those things um, we do utilize every other day or every day if not so um, I figured that they're not only going to look so pretty in the pantry because they're all organized all the same color and it's going to take up less space of like the manufacturer um, packaging so it's going to look nice and pretty and you know very handy because these lids just open up like this and you're done pour and go <laughs> so I got a ton of those isn't this the coolest thing ever? So I got this for Layla as well and it's just an art pad and um, it's just all you know same paper inside so we're going to be utilizing this for all of her projects and stuff and I figured um, if we keep all the pages in here too without taking them out you know this will kind of be a nice memory book um, to keep of your child of all of the different arts that they have worked on and stuff not that that's probably going to happen because she'll probably tear the pages out which is totally fine um, but you know I thought this was pretty cool and how many pages are in here 30 sheets so for a dollar and you have 30 sheets of really nice um, paper inside too so um, this is also for Layla. The next thing I got was these gift bag tags and um, can I just say how adorable they are. You get nine of them so three of each and um, they're just plain on the back so you can um, write on them and um, just kind of dress up like a plain bag and normally what I like to do is um, at the dollar store just get the plain bags and then you can either dress up the bag or just add a fun um, little tag like this on it and then just put some fun paper inside too so um, I thought that this was a really good deal um, nine for a dollar um, it's going to last a while oh and I just noticed that um, you you can kind of like tear them apart like this and still keep them individually wrapped so that's really cool nifty <laughs> next thing I got was this pack of um, tissue paper you know as a mom of a toddler or just a child in general you can never have enough tissues in your 
purse, in your car, in your diaper bag, in your anywhere. I just feel like these are so nice and handy to have. Um, there's eight of them. This was like a special eight bonus pack type of thing. They, um, the other ones that they sell in there were all just like a six pack and um, I really wanted to get the other ones because there was some that were Mickey Mouse, which Layla loves, loves Mickey Mouse. Um, there was some um, princess theme, minions, and all kinds of other fun stuff. Um, but I figured these were really girly too, and you get eight of them in there, so you kind of get a better deal. And of course, I'm all about the better deal, so I got these for us. Next up, um, this is totally just like the, the little girl, the little child comes out in me. When I saw these, which I have no idea what I'm going to do with them yet, but Aren't these just adorable? These are duct tapes and, um, you know, you just have your traditional boring, the brown or the clear duct tape. These are just so fun. So if you're a type of person that sends out packages a lot, you would love these. So they had tons of other colors, especially right now for like 4th of July and stuff. They have a lot of different, um, you know, blue, red, and white, like, themed and stuff, so that was really cool, but these, um, I just thought are so fun and so girly, and what I was kind of thinking is, um, like, if I have a birthday gift, um, at the dollar store, too, they just have, like, plain, so, like, a cream or white, um, wrapping paper, so you can do that and then, you know, use this to, like, I don't know, do something fun on the package, too, so, um, I'll guess I'll have to use my creativity, which is not that great. I'm not as talented as my sister is, so um, I'm talking way too much about these. It's just duct tape, but it's just so much fun. Look how fun these colors are, so do you want to go swimming with me? Yes, I got these for Layla. Um, I couldn't decide on just one, so I was like, oh, what the heck. It's just a dollar. Let me just go ahead and buy three of them. Um, I got her, the first thing here, I got her is this splash ring, and it's just kind of, it looks like Finding Nemo, so um, I got her this. Um, again, I have to say, a fine disclosure, do not utilize this as a floating device or anything like that. Please make sure that you're always around your child when it comes to these things. I know it's very common sense, but um, these things are not, you know, meant to save your child. So um, be around your child and just have a fun, good time together. But it's a 22 inch ring. So um, I figured, you know, if, if it breaks, oh well, it was just a dollar, but um, it was fun. And they had so many fun, cute things. Not really so many for girls. They had way more for boys, I feel like. So um, this is just kind of like a gender neutral one. The next one here um, is this elephant, which this is so cute. So it's not a ring. You can kind of like um, just like slide into it like this. So I know she's going to love this. She hasn't seen any of this, which I already said, but uh, she's going to love, love this. And Layla just loves water. So uh, this next one here, it's called inflatable kickboard, um, which I thought was really cool. So both mommy and Layla can use this and It'll be a lot of fun, and um, I'm excited. Next up, talking about the pool, or swimming in general, I got her these things here. So this is um, um, Splash Catchers. So it comes with this little um, ball inside that's um, really squishy, and you could tell that it's going to absorb water. And then just these little um, fishing tennis rackets type of thing um, that she, I know she will love to do. And she also has these other squishy animals that I take to the pool with us too. So um, she can just kind of like scoop in the water and catch them and just have a good time. This is just cute. And you can't pass it up. It's pink. You can't pass it up. This next thing here, which actually, hold on. <laughs> this is going to be um, a little bit more challenging. I just feel like maybe once the water's in there, it'll be a little bit easier. <laughs> so I got her this. So basically what you do is just um, put it in water and then, you know, fill it up with water and then you can splash each other. So um, Layla's going to have a fun time doing this with her um, cousins which always join us at the pool too, and this is just like a bigger version of that. So she is going to love these two, and again, it's just fun for kids to 
have a fun time at the pool. All right, so next up, um, I got some more Play-Doh for Layla, and this is a pack of smaller. So how many are in here? Um, eight of them, and they just have like these fun colors. Um, they they also, and this is like a knockoff version of the Play-Doh brand, um, but they had another pack too that had the pastel colors in it. Um, which I personally love, but there was only like four of the of the big ones in there. So I was like, you know what? I like these little ones here. You know, like we can take these on the go, and uh, she can, you know, when she gets fussy or something like that, it just gives her something little to play with, which she loves to do. So um, yeah, I got her the pack of this for a dollar. Again, you can't go wrong with it. Next up, um, which I really didn't need these for myself, like when I'm at home, I never really use paper plates. I'm usually the type of person to utilize just my regular um, silverware and plates and all of that. But I got this for Layla to do um, projects with. So I figured that, you know, she can do the pom-poms on here with like, we can spray it first and then she can stick the pom-poms on. Or um, I still need to get one of those, um, it's like a staple, no, not a staple gun, what do you call that? Um, like a three hole punch, but it just has like a one hole punch. Um, so what we can do is I can hole punch it on the side and then she can stick those, um, thingies, those straws, she can stick those through there and do something fun with that. So I think this will be exciting for her too. Not exciting, but you know, you get the idea. Um, and there's how many? 40 plates um, that we can just do fun projects with. She can draw on there and all of that. Next up, the organizing freak totally came out of me, you know, and every time I go to the dollar store, I have to get some organizing units. So um, I ended up getting these, it's a pack of three for a dollar, um, and they're just your standard white bins. I don't really like color uh, because I just feel like it looks so messy, you know, when you have all kinds of other things. Of color that go inside of it so um, I plan on using these in my makeup vanity um, just to kind of organize things a little bit more um, so I got some of those which I already have a ton but some of them um, I just want to discard they're kind of like a mismatch of things so in the dollar store every time they get these you guys you need to buy them right away because they sell out all the time so um, and then you just get stuck with the colored ones and then I got a pack of these long ones also a pack of three um, because because I'm thinking that in my vanity I'll be able to fit two of these next to each other and then this on the side or like something like this so just have to play around with it but um, very good deal all right last up I got was these batteries and um, I thought that this was a really good deal if you have a toddler that has a bunch of gadgets that require batteries you definitely are always going to need batteries and I just needed some as a backup too so um, this was um, a pack of four with two bonus ones so that was a good deal so you get six batteries for a buck which is awesome and then more organization I mean hello heart <laughs> um, this just made me so happy I've been looking for these darn bins like seriously in every dollar store possible so when I finally went to the third dollar store and they had them there I was like oh my gosh thank you finally um, so I ended up picking up six of them which they only had I honestly think maybe like 15 of them or so trust me the temptation was there to just buy them all because I know that my sisters can utilize this I can totally organize everyone's home using this. So um, what I plan on doing is um, putting these, some of them in my kitchen um, to organize like underneath um, in my cabinets. Um, I also plan on using these for um, Layla's, all of these crafts and projects that we're going to do. And then I'm just going to add labels in the front too. You can do fun labels, you can do whatever you want, but they're just a plain, totally plain, bin um, that you can utilize for anything and you will find these in the kitchen section and they're usually like all the way on the bottom of the shelf and they're called dish pans dish pan not looking like a dish pan so yes um and then last up you guys if you find these at your dollar store the white ones i'm talking about you need to buy them like immediately buy all of them because they always run out these are the only 
four that I ended up finding at my local dollar stores and um, you just need to pick them up right away because these bins are so nice like the quality is super nice um, they look adorable not only can you utilize these for organizing which I plan on putting these in my closet one of them I'm going to definitely utilize for my scarves and then the other ones I'm going to utilize for like um, just miscellaneous things like um, you know like winter stuff you know for example like my scarves and gloves and all of that that currently I'm not using so and they're, they'll look pretty and you can add labels on the front of them too like those hanging labels um, and then you can utilize these for your pantry also to make it look nice and pretty so uh, my pantry closet is just not um, big enough for these to fit in there either way so um, that is a bummer but um, I was super excited that I finally found these. So that is it, you guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this haul. I would love to hear from you as far as, like, what are some items that you found at the dollar store that I need to be, you know, on the watch out for. Because what I, one thing that I noticed yesterday was that there was so many hidden things that and I've been to dollar stores before but there's just so many hidden things that I've never even seen before and I just thought wow what have I been doing all of these years so um, I'm definitely going to be going you know exploring a lot more of um, the dollar stores and just kind of like finding those hidden gems and sharing them with you guys and um, same thing goes with like any of these things what I'm going to try to do is um, going forward do these hauls with with you guys a lot more often but then also um, incorporate some of the previous things that I got and just you know tell you yes these worked out great or no this was kind of just like a waste you know so I'm going to try to incorporate that have like a small review section at like beginning of the video or something like that I thought that that would be really cool but yes please share with me you guys down below of uh, things that you found or some things that maybe I should be avoiding at the dollar store so Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here throughout this entire long video. And I hope this gave you some good ideas of um, what to look for. So I hope to guys just, whoa, I hope to see you guys in the next video and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.